Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I am, as the Danish like to say, you're hard to find, which is Danish for I'm fine. And you're going to be fine too today because we are going to talk about my three favorite productivity utilities, three tools that will make you more productive today on Dotto Tech. One of the issues that I struggle with mightily in my own personal life is distraction. And I think most of you are probably in the same boat. The, uh, the the chaos of the online world, the amount of information and notifications that's constantly being sent to our computer, uh, the availability of interesting and unique things to look at that distract us from the task at hand, both on our computer and on our smartphones, uh, has, I think, impacted our productivity big time. It's impacted our ability to concentrate on tasks at hand. So Today we're going to take a look at two tools that will help you focus better on the task at hand, which just by their very presence will make you more productive. The third tool is a straight up productivity tool that just makes you more efficient, which also adds to productivity, of course. And we're going to start with a tool called Rescue Time. Now, Rescue Time we've looked at in the past. It's a utility that installs in your computer and it basically big brothers you. It looks at what you're doing at all times on your computers and you can install it on all of your computers with the same account. So it's monitoring your notebook in your desktop computers and combining all the information into a single account, but it's telling you when you're spending time in productive tasks versus non-productive tasks. And it does that by classifying the different activities that you participate in online. The value comes at the end of the month or at the end of the day or at the end of the week when you look at a report and you see exactly what you have spent time on. Some of us might not want to see exactly what we spent time on, but this, this, this process of in the honest light of day, looking at what you've been doing in your time online and on your computer is very valuable if you are indeed committed to being more productive and spending your time better. So it installs for free. Actually, everything I'm going to show you in Rescue Time right now is available in the free version. Of the three apps today, it's the only one that I haven't purchased myself. I don't need to, I haven't found that the premium version has anything that I need. You might, you might want a little bit more and certainly if you're in a team environment, it might work better for you. But for me, it works great just with the free version. So this is my month of October 2016. I was 76% productive and these are the activities that I spent my time in. This is really valuable because as I'm building out my team determining where maybe I can spend less time and concentrate more time in other areas, more uh, areas that make more money for us, this gives me a snapshot of those activities. So if I take a look in the design and composition phase, which is what I'm basically creating video and content, I'm seeing I'm spending too little time in that and I might be spending too much time in the business activities, managing Infusionsoft and other things. So this gives me a quick snapshot on how, how all that comes together. If I want to get more granular detail, the next series of reports gives me detail on which apps I'm using and spending my time in. No surprise, preponderance of my time spent in email. That is the, that's kind of the, the burden that we all bear today, isn't it? So we can see here where those activities are. And then it tells us how many days I spent less than an hour a day in distracting time and uh, over four hours in productive time, giving me kind of my best days of the, uh, of the month in, in, in a snapshot there. But one of the real values of this app is that it doesn't just determine itself what's productive time, what's not, what's business related, what's not. Instead, it allows you to go into and categorize your activities where it gives you a roster of all of the different app apps and websites that you visit and allows you to classify them. So when I'm playing Civilization, it's very distracting and I've classified it as a game. Facebook, however, is set as productive. Now, some of you might not want to put Facebook as productive time because it's, the, it's where you go to be distracted. I do go to Facebook a little bit to be distracted, but I also do a lot of my business on Facebook. So I have it set as productive, not as very productive, just as productive. And to be fair, it might be better classified as neutral. Uh, but so you have the opportunity to be able to classify the tools that you use appropriately. Similarly, when we get into Infusionsoft, that is our CRM, very productive time. Nobody goes into Infusionsoft for fun. It's for work. YouTube, it would normally be set as distracting, uh, but it's very productive time for me because when I'm on YouTube, I'm publishing our videos, which is productive time. So you can see that you can categorize and you can set it up to just meet your criteria 
for how you should be spending your time. Then you get to take a look on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis exactly how well you're executing your plan of staying more focused, which then makes you more productive. Uh, rescue time. It is a big thumbs up from Steve. Now, staying in the vein of remaining productive is a tool which I know a lot of you might roll your eyes at. And to be fair, I kind of rolled my eyes at it as well <clears throat> because I didn't see the value in spending money on a music program that would play background music to theoretically help me concentrate. Yet every time I tried this tool out, it indeed did help me concentrate to the point that I finally bought the product. This I've actually purchased Focus at Will. It's a product that I bought. Now the link that we're gonna send you is actually an affiliate link because I've purchased it. I'm willing to stand behind it. So it's one of the products that I'm willing to be an affiliate for. But here's how it works. <clears throat> Call me crazy if you will. It is scientifically composed music that's designed to facilitate additional concentration. So what you've got here is you've got a choice of different styles of music that you might want to listen to and have in the background while you're working on your task. And I have to say that as I use this music, as I, uh, as I play Focus at Will and start working on a task, that I almost feel a physical cocoon come around me that acts as a barrier for all of the distractions of the outline world. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but it does. I feel a sense of calm come over me and an, an increased ability to focus on the task at hand. And when I use it, my productivity soars. I stay longer on task, I get more done. Because productivity has tremendous momentum attached. You know, your first five minutes of staying focused on a task, you get X amount done. But if you stay on that task for 10 more minutes, you get 5X done. Because as you concentrate, more and more of your attention focuses on the task at hand, and you're able to apply that much more to it. So this tool has become my go-to tool that I use every single day when it's time to really get down and do work, especially things like writing, email, uh, planning, uh, scheduling, building, working within Infusionsoft, building mail campaigns, that sort of stuff. This tool is essential for me. Now, as good as it is using it with your speakers in the office, it's even more effective, I think, when you use it with headphones, especially in a noisy environment like a, like a, 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 a coffee shop. I use it sometimes in the evening when Shan is watching TV and she's watching one of her murder mysteries that I'm really not interested in, but I want to be in the same room as her. So I plug this in on my headphones in the room. I can't hear the dialogue on the TV. It helps me focus, but at least I'm in the, I'm in the room with Shan and we, you know, we're, at, we're <laughs> physically in the same space, which is a good thing. And I'm still getting my goal done, which is getting more accomplished. Focus at will. It's not cheap. You might not believe that it works better than having your own playlist from iTunes or Google, but I challenge you to try. I have tried using my own playlists, and I think, and this isn't scientifically proven, but I think the fact that when it's familiar music, it invokes memories which jars you away from concentration. I think that's the, the, the problem with using normal playlists, which are very pleasant for background music for lots of things, but not necessarily conducive to focusing on task at hand. Focus at will. A product that I am that I'm willing to endorse and and think that you that it works tremendously well. It's made a difference for me. It could well make a difference for you. And our final tool today is a cross-platform tool. Both of the previous tools are web-based and cross-platform. They both work in Windows and Mac. As does Text Expander, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tools on the planet. Text Expander is a keyboard expansion tool. So what it does is it allows us to take strings of text that they call snippets and create and assign keyboard shortcuts, a unique character string that will allow us to autofill that form. Now we've shown you some detailed demos on using Text Expander in the past, but I'm gonna show you it in its simplest form. This, this video that we're creating right now, let's say for some reason that it was gonna go out and I was gonna get lots of people asking me for the links from this particular video. And I was gonna to have to send it in quite a few emails in the future. Here's how that might work. I'm gonna create a new snippet. The new snippet is going to be in plain text and I put the content of the snippet, which are basically the titles and the links for the three tools that we're gonna be talking about today. Then I create an abbreviation for it. I create an abbreviation like, uh, I'll call it hashtag 2017, sorry, 20, 17 productivity, okay? So that now 
and I'm gonna create that. I can add a label to it, but I'm just gonna create that. And I'm gonna show you how that resolves. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna jump over into a text tool and let's create a new document. And I'm going to now, in text edit, I'm gonna type in the same character string that we just created, the same, the same snippet. So it was hashtag or pound key, uh, 2017 productivity, right? There it is. And you hear a little blink and you see that it gets auto filled into whatever it is that we're working with. So you can use this for uh, web addresses. You can use it for thank yous. You can use it for your physical address. You can use it for instructions. If you are doing technical support, you can have uh, a, a brief description, uh, like a little document of what you do in different scenarios and different cases that you can auto-populate into emails or into responses. There's a lot of different places that you can use it. It's also a team-based tool where you can have shared libraries of snippets so others within your team can use the same snippets. It's a very powerful and full-featured keyboard utility, available both Mac and Windows. It's a product that, again, I am happy to pay for, and the link that we have in the, uh, in the description is another one of our affiliate links just for your information on that side. So there you have three tools that I really don't want to do without. And if you incorporate them, there's a good chance that come 2018, you'll say these are your three of your favorite productivity tools as well. We are talking about focus at will for music. We are talking about rescue time for staying accountable to yourself and on task and text expander, which is all about efficiency and reducing the number of keystrokes that you have to take in a day. I hope you found today's video to be useful. Now there are two favors I'd like to ask of you. First, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and while you're at it, maybe a like would be nice. Also, subscribe to our newsletter. That way you'll hear about all of my upcoming webinars, tutorials, and trainings. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.